Hello, my name is Leo, and thank you for taking the time with me today to discuss DHL's operations and two room for improvements. Um, first being integration of technology in the logistics operation and increased in sustainable practices. First, let's do a company overview. DHL is a global logistics and express delivery company operating in more than 220 countries and territories worldwide. It was founded in 1969 and has established itself as a leader in the logistics industry by providing a comprehensive range of services. DHL's core services include express delivery through international shipping and courier services. This is which most clients are familiar with. Next, DHL provides freight transportation, providing forwarding over air, ocean, and road catering to our diverse supply chain needs. Lastly, DHLs provide supply chain management specializing in end-to-end -end supply chain solutions, optimizing processes for increased efficiency. One of the biggest weaknesses we saw with DHL was its technological integration and its operation. Even though DHL has invested significantly in Cutting edge logistic technologies, we do not believe it's competitive enough in this market. And with the ever changing technologies, we believe that it will continue to need improvements and updates in the systems. This affects warehouse and fulfillment efficiency, transportation and distribution, and integrated freight logistics. We see a solution to these issues as being Logistics 4.0. This is a digitalization of the supply chain processes for increased productivity, a reduction of errors, and enhanced visibility. The end-to-end -end visibility will be both available for our clients as they will be able to use, see and utilize our technologies to see the progress of our operations and their logistics, as well as internally, as we will be able to manage, view, and update the logistics operation on our side. Additionally, we will automate the processes of our operation through AI and computer systems to help if, uh, make our operations more efficient. Lastly, we believe that the Internet of Things solution, which includes the integration of all technologies utilized in our operations, from the handheld devices of our couriers to the internal systems of our logistics facilities, as we will have an all integrated system for increased efficiency and visibility. Unfortunately, there will be challenges to implementing Logistics 4.0. First being, this will be a costly operation, which we believe will require a $3 billion investment in order to update and facilitate this change. Additionally, there is a lack of skilled workers, as we will require all workers of these operations to be familiar with this system. Additionally, there will be a difficulty in integrating the systems into new and old systems throughout our worldwide operation. Lastly, we will have a small challenge with client IT integration. However, this will be able to be updated by updates and informational messages sent to our clients. To overcome these solutions, we will see an investment into this digital transformation. We will see AI powered solutions in our logistics operations. And through a comprehensive strategy, we see an expect, expected completion of 2025 through all of these integrations. Next. We believe the impact of Logistics 4.0 will include an optimization of supply chain efficiency, enhanced visibility and control, cost reduction and resource optimization, and improvement for customer experiences, data-driven decision makings, as we will have these new systems help provide efficient and up-to-date solutions for our logistics operation an increase in innovation and technological integration, and we see ourselves as a global competitor.
Next, another major issue we saw with DHL's operations would be the environmental impact of our operations. The consequence revolt, result for our logistical operations, including key factors such as emission, energy consumption, waste generation, and resource depletion, which can be seen across our global operation. How this affects us is we produce high carbon emissions from all of our transportation and logistical operations. Additionally, in order to maintain our operations, we have a heavy reliance on energy intensive pro processes, such as our driving, our drivers, and our air carriers. Additionally, in order to continue operations, there is a high waste generation through packaging and other operational waste contributing to our environmental burden. Um, in order to overcome these challenges, we see that there are limited infrastructure, meaning there is a lack of comprehensive green infrastructure. There is a huge cost in the additional initial investment of these sustainable practices, and we will need to update our global regulations through the many various markets which we operate in. First, let's go over how to overcome the lack of green infrastructure. We will need to invest in green facilities, which will include construction and upgrade of our facilities with eco-friendly designs. Additionally, we will need to upgrade our fleet transportation from our current modes to electrical and hybrid vehicles, which we see will help improve our infrastructure. Next. To overcome the initial investment of these sustainable practices, we will need to create a cost-benefit analysis evaluating the long-term savings against initial investment. Additionally, to help reduce the burden of these operations, we can explore government incentive and subsidies for these sustainable practices through the various governments that we operate in. Next. Adapting the diverse environmental regulations, we will need to create a comprehensive compliance strategy in order to update and adapt to the ever-changing global regulations in these markets we operate in. Additionally, we will be able to work with different industry groups and advocate for unified global standards. The outcome of these challenges will result in an enhanced environmental footprint long-term saving cost and efficiency, and we will become global leaders in sustainable logistics. With the integration of Logistics 4.0 and our sustainable practices, we see an optimization of supply chain efficiency, enhanced visibility and control for both our users and us internally. We see a reduction in cost and resource optimization once we have Logistics 4.0 and our various sustainable practices implemented together. Next, we see an improvement for the customer experience. As we increase the visibility for our clients, they will be able to have a further grasp of our aspirations and we will be able to provide them a better feeling knowing that they're using a green company with sustainable practices. And we will have data data-driven decision makings in our systems that help provide efficiency in our operations. Next, we see agile and responsive operations driven through Logistics 4.0. We will have an increase in technological integration. We will have better practices as a result of the initiatives in, through our sustainable practices and Logistics 4.0. We will be global competitors and lastly, we see a market expansion and different growth opportunities as we become the logistics leader. And a final note, as we provide the synergy between Logistics 4.0 and environmental sustainability, not only will it increase our efficiency, but it will also create a sustainable and resilient supply chain, which DHL will be a leader in. I would like to thank you for taking the time with me to discuss these integrations 
and how we can increase DHL's operations. Thank you and have a great day.